All right, today I'll be showing you how to install OpenVZ virtualization on CentOS 6.3. We'll be using VMware Fusion uh, for the, the VM just to uh, demonstrate how to get it running. I downloaded the uh, minimal ISO from uh, the CentOS website. Just going to name it demo. Give it some extra processors, RAM, and I usually do bridge networking just because I want other servers on the network to be able to see it. Um, that's it. So, we'll go ahead and start the instance. I'm gonna skip the the uh the check. Okay, now we're gonna just go through the regular installation process. Um a fake host name. Um, I'm going to go ahead and configure the networking now, just so we don't have to do it when we have the container. Set it to Google DNS. Give it a weak password. And this part will take a second to actually install CentOS on the VM. So this should be a completely clean installation of CentOS. No extra packages, no special configurations, just a plain uh, VMware instance. Okay, so we're going to reboot it. Open up a terminal window just so we don't have to stay in 
via VM window. And wait for it to finish starting up. All right. Okay, so yes. Okay. So now we have a completely clean instance of CentOS. Um, to install OpenBZ, I uh, I created a little bash file that does all the installation stuff for you. So all you have to do. is run that script and that's we'll walk through the file as it installs all the packages and everything just kinda tell you what it's doing um, you're gonna install debugit so we can download the, the repo and the other files we need uh, install the openbz repo Download the kernel and install it. Um, install the VZ uh, command line interface and the quota. Um, change around a few things in the sys uh, CTL file that OpenVZ requires. Um, purges that. Uh, disables SC Linux right there. This just changes the the neighbor neighbor devs from detect to all. Um, then we download CentOS uh, six into the VZ template cache, which is where it creates the VZ the VMs um, OS templates from. Um, just a quick note: if you are wanting to access the VMs. On a different machine or anything, you're gonna have to disable IP tables or set up forwarding rules, um, so you can access them. Because by default, it won't let you access them. So here, we just installed. We're still installing the kernel, so we're still up here. And while that's installing, let me show you that. Um, it's pretty much the same type of script for Node.js downloads and compiles the source. Um, LAMP, MySQL, PHP, all that stuff. The script for that, and then also the MongoDB uh, installation. Um, if you want to install all of them at one time, just paste that whole thing. So now we have OpenBZ installed. Um, now downloading the CentOS template. And if you want different templates, just go to that URL. And these are all the pre created OpenBZ uh, templates you can download. So there's quite a few.
211 meg, so it takes a minute to download. Alrighty, now we should be done with the installation process. Just going to run this uh, and turn off the firewall and then this keeps it from turning on when we reboot it. Since we installed a new kernel, um, we're going to have to restart and boot into the OpenVZ. You can see it's opening, it's booting OpenVZ now instead of uh, the CentOS kernel. Connect back again. Um, so we can do VZ list A. So we don't have any containers yet. Um, and we're just going to create a container real quick. So we'll create 101 for us template CentOS config basic uh, IP address 201. So it's going to create the, the operating system folder in the VZ uh, root. So it was created. So now you can see we have container. It's not running yet. Um, we'll do a few more things real quick before we uh, boot it up. Um, I'll set a name server so it can ping out. Um, and then if you want to set the root password for it, just do user password uh, root. Probably not a good idea to use that one. So to set the password, it has to boot it and kill it really quickly. But now. We should be good to boot that up. So now it's running. Um, the containers come pre installed with Apache on it, so you can see it's running. You can also SSH into it. Google 123. Um, see there's not a lot of stuff running on it uh, so if you want to do a new page so you can see everything's working on it um, that's really it thanks for watching um, so basically you can install it in under five minutes or so without the installation of the actual CentOS operating system and things like that. So it, sh it should be pretty quick and easy to get set up and running. Alright, thanks.